Intermune Therapeutics is a biotech company developing a patient-friendly therapy for the treatment of food allergies simply by brushing your teeth. Please welcome Dr. Eric Berglund. Great. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Just let me check. I had a little technical issue before. Can someone give me a thumbs up? We got you. Oh, great. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, great. So, hi. Uh, I'm a co-founder, and I'm the chief science officer of Intramune Therapeutics in New York. It's a biotechnology company that's developing therapies for food allergies. Um, what we are doing is we have a platform called Oral Mucosal Immunotherapy, or OMIT. Uh, what this basically is, is we're taking proteins that are fr taken from the foods that people are allergic to, and we're embedding it in a fully functional toothpaste. That way, a patient will automatically get their immunotherapy each time they brush their teeth. So why is this important? Immunotherapy has actually been around for a long time, over 100 years in the form of allergy shots, which unfortunately are too unsafe to use for food allergies. So this is a way of what, what we know is that immunotherapy works best when it's done uh, gradually over a long period of time. And so when we combine it with brushing your teeth and accessing those cells in the mouth, that's a way to, to get a very good outcome from uh, allergy immunotherapy. Um, just looking at the size of the market, um, food allergies are enormous. About a quarter of a billion people in the world suffer from them. Uh, even though there's many food allergies, there's eight common foods that cause most of the food allergies, 90% of them. And the biggest of those eight is, of course, peanut, which represents about a quarter of that. And that's where we're starting. That's the low-hanging fruit. Our first product in development is called INT301. It will address peanut allergies. In the U.S., that's about 6 million sufferers. And there are many challenges to living with peanut allergy. The most important uh, that I'll mention here is that there are no approved therapies until very recently. There's one that was just approved in January 2020, which I'll uh, speak a little bit about in a moment. But prior to that, there is nothing other than avoidance, which doesn't work very well. So in terms of our OMIT platform, uh, this is a very de-risked approach. Even though it's very new, as I said, it's, it's resting on 100 years of clinical understanding of how desensitization and allergy immunotherapy works. Uh, in 2016, there was a study using toothpaste to deliver allergy immunotherapy for respiratory allergies, which are basically another version of food allergies and, and, and respiratory allergies. They're two versions of the same disease. Uh, that worked quite well. It's very effective, very safe. And actually, the company that has developed this technology initially already has a product on the market. There's about 700 people that have used it for respiratory allergies. Uh, another pillar of clinical understanding is that we know from uh, academic studies that delivering allergy drops that contain peanut proteins under the tongue, so-called sublingual immunotherapy, is very safe and very effective. In fact, it's as effective as the recently approved product I just alluded to called Alforzia, but much safer. So these two things together make us very certain that this is going to be a very successful product when we get it through our development program. Just using Palforzia as a, as a guide for understanding the opportunity, uh, Wall Street is, uh, you know, is, is projecting that the peak sales for that product, which was just launching at the beginning of this year, will be $1.7 billion. For clarity, Palforzia is basically a peanut flour that you eat. Uh, you actually put it in your food, and this is for children. And it has a lot of the side effects, which I won't go into here, but a lot of anaphylaxis, a lot of use of epinephrine, the things that you're actually trying to avoid by using these, the, this type of a product. Um, our product will be much safer than that, so we expect that this is a good guide for understanding, even though that with the safety issues with that product, uh, we're going to be in a pole position once we get into, uh, into FDA approval. So in terms of FDA approval, we're also very de-risked, at least at this stage. We've already had our meetings with the FDA. Uh, they're highly collaborative. The FDA understands clearly what we're doing. They understand the background of immunotherapy and using the oral mucosal tissue as a target for delivering the proteins. Uh, our next step will be filing what's called an investigational new drug application at IND. And once that is complete, which will be done in the next couple of months, we'll be able to start our phase 1B study. And we already have a clinical research organization ready to go. Uh, and the next step is just uh, raising the capital to do this study, uh, which I'll get to in a moment. But this will be a very exciting study because it's very short. It's very simple. It's just answering the question. We already know that immunotherapy works on the oral mucosa, just it hasn't specifically been done in front of the FDA with a toothpaste. So this will be a very quick gut check to make sure that there's no completely unexpected uh, consequences from doing this. And we think that there won't be. And there's a lot of data to back that up. In terms of IP, uh, we have a, a global exclusive license for using this uh, uh, this uh, technology, 
Right now, there's about 25, there's 25 patents that have been issued globally. So it's safe to say that we actually own this space. And I'm not aware of anybody else that has any, any products in development in this area. It's very unique. Uh, in terms of the leadership, we have a great leadership team. Uh, we all have experience with various biotech companies previously and also large companies. And some of the members have been involved with raising money in the hundreds of billions for, for previous engagements. And just to the last slide really quickly, uh, right now we're seeking $500,000, which will allow us to complete that very quick but crucial uh, inflection point, the phase 1B study for the quick uh, check of safety. Uh, right now we have a series a preferred open. We've actually had it open for a while. We've hit our minimum target, which was 1.4 million. We decided to keep it open a bit longer, at least until September at the current pricing, to hopefully get the money in to do this phase 1B study rather than to start a new round at a higher valuation. So once we file, we finish filing the IND with the FDA uh, and we launch the trial, we'll be launching a series B preferred at a much higher valuation uh, and we'll be targeting $10 million, which will accelerate us into setup and running the phase two study for this. Um, I'll leave it at that. I hope I'm within time. Sorry about the, the technical uh, difficulties there.